guys, it's me, Raven, coming back at you with a touch of magic. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about spring cleaning the house and protection. It's that time of year again in Las Vegas. The weather's getting absolutely glorious here. It's uh, almost the end of February, and things are starting to bloom. The weather is starting to hit in the low 70s, and we are opening our windows, and a lot of us will like to do spring cleaning this time of year. Um, so I wanted to give you a few ideas about how I go about doing it the witchy way, obviously. And, um, at the end of the video, please leave your comments below on how you do, um, cleansing of your home and protection so we can share as a community and learn from each other. Um, so that being said, what I like to do, obviously we all know the majority of us like to sage, uh, to cleanse the area of negative or stagnant energy. And obviously I start at the front door. I go counterclockwise. You can open your windows, but, um, just a word of caution. Sage plants are now becoming very scarce. They are over harvesting them and it's beginning to be a problem. So with that being said, if you do have sage bundles, I recommend instead of burning the whole thing on fire, like the end, just break off a few pieces to save it. Also, you can start planting your own sage and making your own sage bundles. And maybe now buying something instead of sage. You could do rosemary bundles. You could do any bundles you want. So just keep that in mind next time you go to purchase sage. Um, you can also cleanse your land with sage or something else. Again, go counterclockwise, and then you want to bring in the good energy. Most of us burn Palo Santo or lemongrass or sweet grass going clockwise. Above and beyond that, what do you do? Well, first of all, we all clean our homes. Why not incorporate um, some herbs or oils into your cleansers? Either if it's stuff you already have, you can add to that or make your own. It's very easy. What I like to do um, with mopping to cleanse the area and protect the area is throwing some rosemary sprigs in there. It smells wonderful. As well, anytime you put essential oils or herbs into any of your products, you want to make sure you're putting your intention in with the herb or the oil. In addition to rosemary, you can use clove. You can use cinnamon sticks. Um, frankincense is a fabulous one uh, to cleanse and protect. You can, did I say sage already? You can add sage, little pieces of sage if you have it already at home. Um, or use the oil. A few drops of the oil is fabulous. As well, for protection, bringing in a good energy into your home, using herbs or oils like anything in the citrus family, your lemon, your orange, or your grapefruit. Not only do are they uplifting and give you a good energy, but they also, especially lemon, will get rid of any nasty smells in your house. I have four animals and I'm the first to admit when you walk in my house, it doesn't always smell clean and fresh. Sometimes it smells like wet dog and it's not the nicest smell. So lemon will get rid of any of those smells, even fish. Like if you guys, you know, when you cook fish or Brussels sprouts, God forbid. I love Brussels sprouts, but my God, they make your house smell horrible. Use lemon. Sorry. Went off on a tangent there. In addition to your citrus for uplifting energies in the home, you can use any herb that you like, any, say, flowers, um, roses, of course. Many of us as witches have rose petals already, dried rose petals. Throw those in your cleanser for a sweetness in the home or love in the house. You can do dried jasmine or calendula or lavender for calming energy. Um, gardenia. Did I say jasmine? A lot of people have jasmine that uh, grows around here. Cut your jasmine and dry it and, um, you know, use that. In addition to that, oh, let me think. gardenia, jasmine, 
yeah, yeah, any any flower that you like. Tulips. I mean, why not? Dry the tulips. Pe peonies. Is that? I think I'm saying it right. Those are really pretty flowers. They give a great scent. It just gives you a nice uplift in in the house. Use it not only in your mopping water, you make, you can make, um, like a soft scrub for your bathrooms with essential oils. I wouldn't necessarily use herbs, but you do you, you can also make a cleanser to dust and wipe off your wooden furniture, which is very simple. It's like four ingredients. You can look that up online, but I know that, um, Usually with that, they incorporate a lemon oil and I would also do maybe a clove or a cinnamon to bring in that protection, cleansing, as well as the good energy with the lemon. So look up your cleansers online. You can look up your herbs, cleansing herbs, protective herbs, and uplifting herbs online as well. There's a slew of them. I just gave you a few. Uh, bay leaf is also a great cleanser for the home. Um, I said clove. I said cinnamon stick. I said frankincense, sage. I mean, these, these are the top ones I use, obviously. Vervain, um, valerian root, uh, which is grass. I love, um, you do you. And that's another thing too. Anything that you see online, if you don't agree with it, don't use it because it, it won't work for you. Go with what you feel is right, which brings me in, um, to the next thing, which is, um, 50 year old brain. I swear to God, it doesn't work before 8 a.m. and it's 7:57 a.m. So I still have three minutes. Uh, crystals. Use your crystals as well. Crystals are fabulous uh, for protecting the home, cleansing negative energy, as well as bringing in good energy. And you can use those outside on your land as well as inside. What I like to do is put my crystals in the four corners of the house, the north, south, east, and west. I do a protective one. Um, you can also do that in the four corners of your land and bury them. I, I do that as well. You can use black tourmaline. You can use Apache tear. You can use obsidian. You could use jet. Any black crystal is usually protective. And then I also use in my house selenite next to my black tourmaline. Selenite gives a calming energy in the house. And I absolutely love selenite. But for calming energies um, or even like happy energies or uplifting energies in your house, look for crystals with that are uh, yellow or orange or maybe pink for love. And as well, what I said about the herbs, when you're looking at herbs and using them, the same with crystals, go with your gut. I would never buy crystals online only because I can't get their sense of energy by looking at them. Maybe some of you can, I can't, I need to be near them and see them. So I will go to the crystal store and we have so many here in Las Vegas. Um, so go to your store and feel the energy and get what you're drawn to. Again, don't go by what a book says because a book might tell you it's, you know, a happy energy, but you're looking at the crystal saying, I'm not getting happiness from it. So go with your intuition because as witches, that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Stop reading the books. Always and going by the books, go by your intuition, go by your gut. Okay. Sorry. Again, a little tangent, but necessary. As well, you can do a grid. I make a grid every year for my home, depending on what I want to bring in for the year. So one year I did a grid on prosperity, um, money. One year I did a grid on more love in the house. One year more happiness, more spirituality. I will go to the store. I will buy myself one large crystal and then 
I will get corresponding crystals and put them around the stone. You can make any pattern you want. You can make it fun. You can put it by the front door or wherever you want in the home, in the center of the home, or if you have a witchy room, that's always a great place. And again, you do not need a lot of crystals. You do not have to spend a lot of money. If you have $5, you can go to a crystal store and buy five small stones and use five stones for your crystal grid. Or three if you only have enough for three or just buy one. It's okay. These people drive me like assholes. It truly amazes me. Anyway, um, beyond crystals, you can also put crystals by the front door. I actually have them outside by the front door. And speaking of front doors, you can also do salt by, um, by your front door, in front of your front door, on the window sills for protection. You can also use salt in your house to soak up negative energy. So you can either do bowls of salt in every room, leave it for 24 hours, put your intention in to soak up the negative energies, or you can actually sprinkle salt all over your house if you want. Um, and then vacuum it up or sweep it up when you feel it's time. Again, it doesn't have to be 24 hours. Go by your gut. In addition to that, you can do onions in the corner. I've heard onions. I haven't done onions because they smell so bad. Or lemons. You cut a lemon, stick them in the corners of your house. And if you have any negative energy, the lemon will actually get like funky dunky mold on it. Um, and if you don't have any negative energy, the lemon should be okay the next day. You can um, also look more into that online or on YouTube. Plants. Plants are another great way to bring good energy into your house as well as protect your home. I have probably six rosemary bushes planted outside for protection in the front of my house. You could do a rosemary bush by your front door. Um, also, basil is a protective plant and easy to grow inside the house. I haven't tried outside yet, but inside, if I can grow it, anyone can grow it. Trust me, because I am my, I used to have like a black thumb. Seriously, I couldn't grow anything. I am getting better and better with age. Um, and I found that basil is actually pretty easy to grow. So try that. And it's great to eat too. Um, so yeah, plants, crystals. Um, as I said, you can, um, you can put them in the four corners of your land, like bury them, literally bury your crystals in the land. You can sprinkle salt on your land just to um, cleanse it. You can also do brick dust. You can buy a brick at Home Depot and smash it. It, it takes a while and you need some good um, power behind it, but you can do it. And then you can sprinkle it around the perimeter of your home or as well as salt, just the perimeter, not all over the land to form a protective um, boundary around there. So it has been 13, son of a bitch. I am so sorry. I talk so much. I really tried to make this shorter. I hope I gave you some great ideas. Please share yours at the bottom and um, get to that spring cleaning. Let me know what you do and um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.